Welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to create a walkway or path in Rhino. In this tutorial we're going to start by creating the path that we want our walkway to follow and here I've just created this curve line to indicate that. We're then going to create how wide we want this path to be so I'm just going to select the polyline tool, start drawing a line and I'm going to type in 3 meters to lock that to 3 meters and hold the shift key to lock that horizontally like so. This is going to be the width of our path and we're then going to select that line, use the move tool, snap to the center point and move it to the start of my line curve here. Now before we create this into our path we need to check that our cross section here which is going to be the width of our path is perpendicular to this line. To check this quickly we just use the rotate 2D tool, rotate from the center to the end, snap it to the kind of edge of our line here like so and then hold the Z axis here of the rotate, hold your shift key and rotate it 90 degrees. There you can see it's slightly off parallel there, but we are perfectly perpendicular to that line now. Now we know we're perpendicular, we're now gonna use the sweep command by typing in sweep one here, selecting the rail, which is this red line here, which is our path that our hammer will follow and selecting the cross section, which is the blue line. Hit enter select a free form from here and just click OK and there we can create our kind of path flat shape there. Now we need to give this some thickness and to do that we're just going to select the path, type in extrude surface here and we'll extrude this by around 0.2 to give it a bit of thickness in the base. We can then delete that top surface from the piece here. The next thing we're going to do is create some handrails for this path. To do this we can select the first curve we used to make the original path from and type in offset to offset this line to the edges. For the distance here we're just going to select this point and here this point to give the distance to be exactly the width of the line which is in this case 1.5 meters. Left click to put it on this side and then hit enter to repeat that command and repeat it on the other side. So we end up with two lines, one either side of this curve like so. Once you've made these we're going to move these into position just by selecting the move tool, picking a point at the end and making sure we're locking it in the vertical plane up here like so and then just typing in 1.1 to offset that upwards by 1.1 meters. This is going to be our handrail. Now to give the handrail a kind of thickness we're going to use the pipe command so to select both lines type in pipe here select a radius of 0.03 in this case which is going to give a kind of six centimeter diameter to my handrail hit enter and then enter again to end that command and there we have our two handrails now for the final point of this we need to create our railings for our handrails here which we're going to do by just selecting the polyline tool creating a line from here to the center point of our handrail like so then with that line selected we're going to use the pipe tool again. This time we're going to do a radius of 0.01 which is going to be a 2 centimeter diameter on this curve. Hit enter and enter again and there we have our kind of handrail. Now for this railing here we're going to create this into a block so we might be able to then adjust it later if needs be. So we're just going to type in the block command like so. For the base point let's just pick the bottom point down here and we'll just call this railing. Once we've made that we can then array it along our path like so. I'm going to do this by using the array curve tool. Select the railing to array, hit enter and select the curve which is this handrail curve that we're going to array it through like so. For the number of items we're going to do 300 items so it arrays it 300 times and we'll hit enter there to array that. Now we're just going to repeat that process for the opposite side by selecting our railing here, hitting the copy tool, copying it from this point to this point at the end and then just repeating that process using the array curve and selecting this curve here like so. And there we have our walkway path with our handrail on either side. Now this piece and this kind of technique can be used for roads, it can be used for paths anything that has a kind of continuous walkway deck like this and railings either side this can be useful so i hope you found this video tutorial helpful and thank you for watching